Hello everybody, Julia from Just One More Card here, and today we're going to throw ourselves a unicorn party. Yes, you heard right, we're gonna do a unicorn party because, you know, if you can't be anything, can't be a unicorn. So I'm going to be using these stamps by Stamping Bella, they're absolutely amazing. And I'm going to be using my Stampin' Magic to help me line up these images because they're rubber stamps, so I can't see through them like through clear stamps, and I want to make sure they're somewhat even. Even if it's a wild party, they should just still sit on a somewhat even line. Okay, so I'm using my Stampin' Magic, stamping the first image, and now I need to mask that image. And I had prepared the mask, but I, what I hadn't realized, I had stamped on the wrong side of the masking paper. I should have stamped on the white side, not on the blue. So I'm completely clueless yet, and I'm trying to adhere the backing paper to the card base, which of course doesn't work. So. I'm like, why doesn't that stick? And then I realized um, this won't work because it's the wrong way around. And I fuzzy cut this. So I'm like, yay, Julia, top notes for paying attention. So, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't give up easily. So I just used the sticky piece of the masking paper to hold down the backing paper because I had fuzzy cut that stuff. I would not let it go to waste. So I just kept doing this. Um, lining up my stamps with the stamp magic and stamping out the rest of the unicorns and using the rest of the backing paper to mask everything. And you can see that worked out rather well. Um, it's not really reusable, but you know, who cares? All right, now for the actual coloring that I'm doing, I'm using my um, polychromos pencils. You can use your Prismacolor pencils or whatever your preferred coloring medium is and my goal was to um, make sure that I could see the, the different strands of hair you know I really wanted to give this some dimension um, because the unicorns themselves will basically remain white I'll just add some shading to them so I needed their hair to really really stand out so I'm uh, going in uh, rainbow colors here through the different unicorns and the principle is always the same I'm drawing in the basic shape and then I'm just going to um, add like blend from dark to light and doing this in several layers. I'll play some music for you while I'm doing this coloring process.
All right, and now that our unicorns are all prettied up, we can get sparkly. So I'm using a mini mister, which is filled with a mixture of water and perfect pearls, which, which basically gives you your own shimmer spray. And I'm generously spritzing this because the, um, the pencils are not water soluble, so I know it won't run. And this will give me a really beautiful shimmer. I mounted some foam tape on the back of uh, the colored piece, then mounted this on, uh, well not foam tape, actually just craft foam, mounted this on the card base and added some sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. And you can see here in the photo just how gorgeous the shimmer is that I get from the um, Perfect Pearls spray. And I think for a unicorn card, this is like the only way to go. You need lots and lots of shimmer. So this was just a really easy coloring project that allows you to go really nuts with bright and happy colors. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos in the future, please subscribe. And if you like, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Bye bye.